In today's video, we're going to break down what it takes to create a caloric deficit, to take your physique from looking like this to looking like this, or in the case of my client, Brittany, from looking like this to looking like this, or in your case, to reach your physique goals. We're starting right now. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rebello from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I got a great question on my Instagram direct message. So I'd like you to go to my Instagram if you guys have questions. I love answering those questions. And if I think they're a great question, I'm going to put it here on YouTube. So let's ask the question and then we're going to answer it. How many calories should I eat per day to remain in a deficit? 1500 calories or less. So what we have to determine is what creates a caloric deficit. And by understanding the big picture, it can really help us make progress, okay? So first, let's talk about energy balance, energy intake, energy expenditure, all right? A lot of us think that we burn most of the calories through exercise, and that is not the case. So if you look at this chart, you'll see that the greatest portion of our calories are burned through our basal metabolic rate. But what is a basal metabolic rate? Well, that is just the calories that we burn to live. It's our breathing, it's our movements, okay? It's our organs, it's our cell regeneration. It's all the things that go into us being alive. And honestly, basal metabolic rate is a very large number for a big reason, because that's what the majority of our life is about, okay? A lot of us like to focus on this idea of exercise. But as you can see here, exercise makes up as little as 5% of our total daily energy expenditure. A larger portion is made up through NEAT or non-exercise activity. And a lot of people don't understand that NEAT, meaning the hand gestures that we do, the walk that we take, the dancing that we do in our living room when we're making our TikTok videos, non-exercise activity makes up a lot of our day. And sometimes when we have low energy, poor diet, well, our NEAT will actually decrease. Okay, so you actually burn less calories. You start to conserve energy if you're not doing things properly. Now, the last number you see here, the 10%, that is the thermic effect of food. That is the cost of our bodies breaking down the food that we intake. Those calories are then converted into energy. They're either stored or they're used. Now, if they're stored, that can then be converted to body fat. So that's where the term energy balance comes into. So you need to understand that all of our activity throughout the day, not just your exercise, not just your cardio, is going to cause us to burn calories. The excess that we take in, if you consume an abundance of calories, that can potentially be stored as body fat, okay? This is the idea of burning more calories than you create. I do want to kind of paint a picture here though. Our bodies are always storing body fat and always breaking it down. Those two processes never stop. Our bodies are very dynamic. I know a lot of us think of it as binary, black and white, an off switch and on switch. No, they're always both happening. So what's most important is to think of it as a 24 hour window, a 48 hour window, even an entire week. You can have several great days in a caloric deficit and have one really bad day in a caloric surplus and set back your progress for a number of days or even a week or more. Okay, so that's why it's so important to understand the energy expenditure bus for we're taking in. So. Let's talk about a study, okay? How accurately are you paying attention to your diet? Everyone tells me they're eating 1,500 calories. Everyone tells me they're, they're taking in 1,200 calories. They're eating healthy and they're exercising and they're doing cardio, but they can't lose weight. I got news for you. You're not eating 1,500 calories. You're not eating 1,200 calories. And I'll cite a study here that showed that this population of people were under calculating their calorie intake by as much as 47%. They were also overestimating the calories that they were burning in their exercise by 51%. This group of people were claiming that they were taking in 1200 calories and couldn't lose weight. But after the study, they found that they didn't have abnormal thermogenesis. They didn't have a problem with metabolism. They actually had a problem with accountability. And this is where coaching, this is where being involved in this video is really going to help you guys because first things first, the energy that we take in, that we consume, that's what we have to be accountable for, okay? Looking at some food, and I'll put something on the screen here that shows you the vast difference between tracking your peanut butter by saying, I'm gonna eat a tablespoon visually versus by weighing it. The difference can be several hundred calories. You do that several times per day, all of a sudden you're in a surplus, and now you're complaining that you can't lose weight because you're eating 1500 calories and you're actually eating 2600 calories, right? It's very easy. So the process that I like to do with everyone that's focused on this goal is accountability. We want to download some apps, okay? We want to use something. Now, prophysique.com, 
put it on the screen here, has a free calorie calculator for you guys. You're gonna put in some information like your height, your weight, your age, your activity levels, and it's going to spit out some numbers. Now, these numbers are based on research, but I can tell you, based on these studies, that if you actually follow these numbers, they're gonna be pretty accurate, okay? If you're accurate with your diet. It's also gonna help you come up with how many meals per day to eat. It's gonna give you a macro breakdown of how much protein, carbs, and fats. So this free calculator can be a great starting place, but ultimately it's gonna come down to you getting an app. Now, the app that I use is called Fat Secret. It's a free app. You download it, it's a food diary. Everything that you eat, you should be tracking. Everything. If you drink something, if you eat something, if you are interested in losing weight. Now, a lot of people say they're interested in losing weight and they say they're on 1,200 calories or 1,500 calories, but they're not. And they don't want to be accountable because they don't actually want to know. I can tell you this, as soon as you start tracking, it changes things. It really changes your perception of what you eat. You don't realize how many times a day you grab for a snack, okay? I have kids. I always the Hoover in the room. I'm always eating their leftovers. When I am focused on reaching a physique like this on the screen here where I'm very low body fat, lots of muscle, okay? As a lifetime natural bodybuilder, it's because I'm able to be very consistent with my diet. I cut out the snacking and I hold myself accountable for months and months at a time. That's what it can take to reach the physique that you're after, okay? So now let's talk about some other aspects. What should you be tracking? It's very important to pay attention to your activity levels as well because is 1500 calories a caloric deficit? Potentially, it most likely should be, but you have to understand what you're doing outside in the gym. You have to understand where your need is at and you have to understand where your sleep is at. Sleep is a very crucial factor that will impact your basal metabolic rate. It'll impact your hunger. It'll impact your recovery and can therefore positively impact if you're sleeping well, the amount of calories that you burn throughout the day through NEAT because you have more energy. How good do you feel when you get a really good night's sleep, right? You have more energy throughout the day to do more things and that therefore can create the caloric deficit. So being accountable to your diet, being accountable to tracking your activity, your sleep and paying attention to all that. And then you have to be able to say, okay, if I'm taking in 1500 calories and I'm doing this much activity and I'm seeing no positive change in body composition or fat loss, and you should be doing multiple measures, you should do a body fat tracking through pictures, I also think the scale can be valuable, a daily weight. I also think that it's very important that you potentially do some measurements, right? And then you need to pick a deadline. If you're not seeing progress, you need to adjust. Give yourself a week, 10 days, 14 days, whatever the timeline is, and then you need to adjust. You need to either take in less calories or increase your activity level through adding more cardio, adding new, more NEAT, adding more daily activity. You guys, I have multiple videos with over a million views discussing how to create a caloric deficit, how to walk for fat loss. The concepts are always the same. Accountability with diet and with cardio and with lifestyle and adjusting when you see that you're not making progress. How do you know you're in a caloric deficit? You're losing body fat. That is the definition. So if you're not seeing those positive changes, don't be afraid to make an adjustment. And hey guys, in January, we're having our next transformation challenge. Our current transformation challenge is about to end. We give out cash money. Last year, we gave away $50,000, okay? Now, it's a group-led focus where we give you training plans, we give you meal plans, we give you a group where we can go in and discuss how to help you. We have 28 coaches here at Pro Physique who are interested in helping you guys lose weight. So if you're looking for a deadline, something to focus on, well, hey, our transformation challenge that kicks off in January might be the thing for you, or you can just start right now, guys. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.